Valentino Balboni, the legendary test driver for Lamborghini. Good morning, DD fam. How are you guys doing today? I'm gonna put some heat in the engine. We're heading over to Lamborghini Newport Beach right now because Valentino Balboni, the legendary test driver for Lamborghini all those years, is in town here in Orange County for the OC Festival of Speed. I'm gonna go and steal him for the day. I'm gonna borrow a Lamborghini Urus. That's right, I'm gonna steal Balboni and I'm gonna borrow an Urus from Lamborghini Newport Beach, bring a couple of my buddies along and take that thing off-roading. So this is gonna be a pretty unique, fun experience. I'm happy to have you guys with me. Without any further ado, let's put some heat in this engine. Hey, hey, good morning. <laughs> good morning to Nick Jones. Hey, how are things? Hey, check this out. You can't even, it's like, you can put a cover on this. It's like, hmm, you can't hide that wing, can you? Uh, what no you knows what that is. Nobody knows. I wonder what this is. What McLaren comes with a wing that's so huge, you can't even hide it under a cover. Yeah, it's a Senna. A friend of ours here is actually taking delivery of a 600 LT with Senna seats, which is really exceptional because in, the, in this moment, the only cars being delivered with Senna seats, like as far as 600 LTs go, are important people. 600 LT, you get the louvered fenders. It's beautiful. Congrats. Dry carbon. Whoa, oh, it's got the harnesses. It's got the harness bar. You can see it right back there. And then look at this, the actual harnesses. Wow, these are sick. It's, and it's like so light. I picked up other harnesses and all of these little, these little bits are usually like really heavy. Kevin's car, Kevin's car's here. <laughs> hey, your car's roaming around, homie. You didn't know, you just saw it drive by. Yeah, I don't know. That looks familiar. It's kind of dirty. It's get, is it getting a service? Yeah, and there's a recall. Oh, recall just, just some upgrades. Yeah. We, we call them yeah. upgrades. Because the car was so dirty, so I want them to wash it. So I bring it here. <laughs> you brought it here. <laughs> Guys, they took the cover off just for me. They were taking the cover off, so I'm going to film it. Look at this. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Woo. That silver is intense. Like. Look at that. And then all the dry carbon, and then these little accents of red. It's almost like an orangey red. I like it. I really like it. Chase Susanna, I had to. Wow, that's probably my favorite spec so far. That thing is so clean, beautiful car. A Lamborghini icon, you know, test driver for decades. I mean, this guy goes back to the Mira. How do you show up? This is how you show up. That's right. This is how you work. Okay, Lamborghini. <laughs> Lamborghini, I love the accent, true Italian. I introduce to you our ride for the day. Listen to the P1. I'm not kidding you. Like this is so random here at Lamborghini Newport. It's like crazy what happens some, some days. Brand new 600 LT delivery, Senna pulls out, P1 drives around, Balboni flies in from Italy, 
we're gonna go off-roading. You're setting the bar pretty high, man. Like, <laughs> I swear, you like, I don't know. He never wants me to leave or something. <laughs> All right, you guys, I introduce to you the legendary Valentino Balboni. This gentleman goes all the way back to the Mura, test driving those cars for decades. Thank you for being on the channel. My pleasure, thank you very much. We're gonna have a good day. I hope so, I'm sure. Well, we're gonna take the Urus off-road. How do you pronounce it? Urus. 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 Lamborghini. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm gonna have you sign my car. This would be a huge, a huge honor for me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go have fun. All right. <laughs> and we depart. Let's get off this pavement and find some dirt. We're in the search of dirt. In the search of dirt? We're gonna go find some dirt. Hold on. I found some right here. <laughs> oh yeah. We gotta. We gotta make this thing look like that. Oh. This is. We we did a lot better than those guys. <laughs> we have a much nicer vehicle. So Valentino wants to know why are we driving so slow. <laughs> Because we are in America. Oh yes. So we got our tire, our tire temps. We got our oil level. We got our oil level. You used to drive cars when there was none of this electronic assistance, no traction control, and now these cars have all this technology. How have you adapted over all those years to all of this? Because you've driven for decades. Yeah. Well, I would say is it is always more. Uh, let's say useful to have this kind of electronic aids, let's say, because it makes people more comfortable, you know. Professional drivers always know how to enjoy the car, and I think these new modern features helps a lot making, you know, improving safety and also driving pleasure, because it, electronics helps a lot. Yes, so someone with less experience not a professional test driver can get more performance out of the car because the car helps. Correct, I agree <laughs> on that, yes. People who Definitely. have lived, like myself, who are in the middle, mm -hmm. where I still remember the cars of the old days when there was no real assistance. They were scarier to drive at times. Some people feel like that's a bit lost, but all you have to do is push all the buttons so it's all off and you're yes. back to that day. Yes, so it's yes. the best of both worlds. Yes, yes. Valentino, your license is an Italian license? Oh. They ever told you you have to have a California license here? Really? Yeah, I they I keep telling me. That. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's, it doesn't exist, but if they ever tell you that. I've recently, I recently acquired another Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. So it's a LP640 Murcielago manual. Manual? Yes. 640? Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Very rare. Special, very nice, very nice. Thank this you. is one of the most exciting car to drive. So, you know, Murcielago 640 manual for me is the best compromise because, you know, at the end, at the end of the production of, of a car, you go through many improvements. And the balance we acquired with the Murcielago 640 on t in terms of frame, stability, it's amazing, it's amazing. And the manual gives a touch which is extremely special. And like, click, 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 click. Oh yeah, the sound, the sound of the, of the metal, of the gate, you know, when you change and downshift, it's magic, you know, it's something magic. <laughs> this moment's magic for me. This is like awesome. <laughs> the insights of, and you still to this day go to the factory and get to see all the stuff before it's out, before anyone sees it? Let's say I am no longer directly involved with the development, but you know, I can say I am still married with Lamborghini, but we sleep in a different bed. <laughs> <laughs> this vehicle, by the way, if you haven't seen my other video I did with Nick previously, we did a short test drive in the Urus. This vehicle has the largest brakes of any production vehicle on the planet. And it's a 21 inch wheel, I believe. 21? Yeah, 21 yeah. So when you take that into consideration, it's a 21 inch wheel with almost zero gap between the rotor. It's amazing. That is a 21 inch wheel. <laughs> Look at the largest brakes on any production vehicle. Bigger than a Chiron. Bigger than your forehead. Bigger, oh! So 
we're going into the off-road mode settings. Oh, here we go. Sebia. Oh, it totally changes the vehicle. You can just feel how it's different. The suspension softened up a lot. Check this out. Incredible view. Jeez, look at that. How fire just destroys everything. Look at that. Well, pit stop number one. We got this beautiful overlook, this little like vista point. Can you get a load of this? This will work. Oh, amazing. Nice. Amazing, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Shot, you guys. Behind the scenes, I brought my professional driver, professional drone pilot, my professional, I don't know, not sure, not sure yet. <laughs> and my professional photographer, right here. And my professional sales, sales guy. Hey. And I'm your professional doofus. This is Nick's idea. He said, let's bring some chairs, an espresso maker, and we can all have a cappuccino or like a, a uh, yeah, we can have an espresso on the top of a mountain. Right, right? And you notice how I just keep talking on camera so I don't have to lift anything? I just let these guys do it, it's part of the trick. Okay guys, Alex and I are gonna show you the engine of the Urus. V8, turbocharged. And that's all you get to see. <laughs> what happened? It's somewhere between the dealership and the top of the mountain here. The espresso machine has broken. <laughs> so it doesn't work. This is what we're gonna do. Movie magic. <laughs> we're gonna fake it. We're gonna fake it. <laughs> Don't burn all of our SD card taking sexy shots of yourself, Alex. Incredible. So we met we met a local, one of the residents, and he was saying that um, you know this has all been severely washed out because of the rain. It creates mudslides, you know, and the, then there's the fire devastation. And unfortunately, his house was hit. Um, these homes up here were saved. It's insane. And look at this. Look at this truck. Oh man. Well, that's a truck. This is an SUV. Super SUV. Look at the ruts. This thing just, I think this handles, I think this handles it better than the Raptor. Have you spent much time behind the wheel of the LM002? Yes. Off-roading? Yes. Yes. LM002 was my, let's say, development. It was my, one of my first, first car I developed as a, as a test driver. Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So the heritage of off-road vehicles really starts with you. Right. Well, I was, was the, the test driver of the LM. Yeah. First time we took the car out of the company was, uh, I was driving the car, yeah, yeah, yeah. And how did that car do? Well, <laughs> not not better than this one. <laughs> ah, completely different technology. Very, very pure. I mean, uh, four-wheel drive, that's it. No electronic, no electronic differential, uh, nothing. Just pure mechanic. Of course, with advantages and a lot of disadvantages. <laughs> <laughs> you had to really know how to drive it. Oh, you... yes, yes, yes. You really knew how to drive it. But I tell you, on those days, it was, uh, was same as Urus today. It was such a new thing, such a, uh, an outstanding pro program 
that we all enjoyed and there was a lot of success. Wow. Yeah. And the Urus, of course, got the idea of the lamb, but on a different, completely different base and, and concept. You guys can see, like, this is no joke. So what, what mode are we currently driving in? We are driving in sand, which is off-road, and we set the suspension all the way up. So it's maximum up? Maximum up, and so we have a lot of clearance, and we can enjoy. The car is still comfortable and safe. Safe is good. Man down, man, man down, man down. Alex just drove the drone into a tree. You crashed the drone. I see it. I see what the drone is seeing, but I do not see the tree. <laughs> and the GPS says it's like right here, but like. Hold on. Well, it's got, it's got to be just up in here somewhere. You're gonna climb that. You. All right, you fall, I'm not catching you. Oh, he's up there, he's up there. Oh, I see the drone. You see it? Yeah, it's right there, right in front of him. It's right in front of you, Alex. Where? Right in front of you. Like right in front it's of literally you. Literally in front oh, of you. I see it. <laughs> Let's all just get in the car and go. <laughs> we'll all take off. No, we need the footage. If it wasn't for the footage, I'd say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too good. I don't know how deep is this, huh? Can we get you to back up and go through it fast? You wanna do it? I want you to. <laughs> we got mud on the windshield now. <laughs> all the mud dripping off the front bumper, that looks good. <laughs> yes, it does. To your shoes. I got, a, <laughs> I got an invitation, but I didn't know that I would get this <laughs> from the invitation. <laughs> Gift from Italy. It's proper dirty now, you guys. Proper dirty now. What a day, sir. Good. What a day. I'm happy that you enjoy. I never thought to have this kind of adventure today. <laughs> <laughs> driving uh, through mud. Driving through mud and driving to those special roads here with a Lamborghini Urus which is an amazing experience. I think Alex is sleeping. <laughs> Dude, he's out. I guess they spiked the brakes. <laughs> He's awake now. <laughs> Time for a little Italian food. I found an Italian restaurant. We're gonna treat, hopefully we're gonna treat Valentino. He's gonna be a good food critic for us since he's the man. Look at this though. You guys, look at it. 
Like you can't even read Ur Urus anymore at the front. It's all tried on here. <laughs> this thing's done proper, Alex. Look at this. Morning. It's like the point where you like you have to be careful getting out of the vehicle. Bon appetito. Yes. Well, that wasn't hard. <laughs> hey, bon appetito. Official. Bon appetito. Bon appetito, bon you two. Oh. Hey, what's up, social media? No. <laughs> bon appetito. Bon appetito. Kevin? Here we go, guys. Yes, I know, baby. This is not in the diet, but this is a special, this is a special Italian meal. I had that, I had that pasta. I'm with Valentino. I'm with Valentino. No. I have not for you, Kevin. Mmm. That's so good. Wow. So we're gonna show the owner of the restaurant and these guys the Lamborghini that we took off road. We got a reaction here. Oh yeah. Uh, how that is possible you guys mess it up but kinda like this? What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're leaving, they're leaving. Look at these guys. We gotta get them to. We gotta get in there and rev it. Rev it, rev it. <laughs> yeah. In a half mile, listen to that. This is a great way to get up to the speed limit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know? Even I've never driven a car with my face on it. <laughs> That's amazing. Look what we have here. It's just been like the day of hypercars here. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Bugatti. Look at that, you guys. And the blue carbon. Blue carbon. That's just, the whole car is blue carbon. Amazing. Yeah, it's for sale. You wanna buy it? You wanna go halfers with me? Put it on the list. Put it on the Look, list. Look at that Red Guts interior is, oh, immaculate. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. The, the trust that you lend him, thank you. No, I, I know him. <laughs> I, just carry the, I just carry the camera today. Isn't the there a story that you ever ended up in dirt? In dirt? Well, sometime, I think, yes. Yeah. <laughs> in, in 50 years or more, you always experience something, you know, every day or every night, I don't know. I mean, it's always something that you experience, you know. I ended up a couple of times, you know, spanning around, you know, and upside down, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, you know, so today was a good day. <laughs> today was a good day. No, you did well. No, thank you. You still much. got it, man. <laughs> Again, thank you for all the help of Eric, uh, Alex. Kevin did something, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> There's more coming to the channel with Lamborghini Newport Beach. Super grateful. Thank you, you guys, very much. Great you never show. know what's going to be next. You never know what's gonna be next. <laughs> they keep telling me, he asked for an Urus and he comes back and he wants a Centenario. And I said, you don't get to this place, like this level of, you know, all the hard work and success with the channel 
with low expectations. I got big expectations. Smash the subscribe button, you guys. We will see you in the next episode. Hopefully another episode with this gentleman. Right. We're gonna go drive the Mercy manual. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, 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 in circle. Okay guys, thank you very much. Yeah, we're out.